guys, welcome to the first video of this series where we are going to create an authorization system using NextAuth using also the provider of GitHub or if you want a credentials login as you can see here and we'll be using Next.js with TypeScript and for our database we'll be using MongoDB with Atlas to store our users data and finally we will use Chakra UI for styling this page and all these series will be on the GitHub for you to follow along if needed and it's composed for four videos where the first one I will give you a quick explanation what is next out, why you should use next out and also create a very quick and extremely simple next out authorization using just this GitHub provider then in the second video I will show you how do you create an account on MongoDB to use their uh, cloud database called Atlas in the third video, I will also show you how to create the MongoDB adapter using the Nextout documentation and also how can we connect to our MongoDB database to make CRUD operations. And finally, but not least, in the last video, we will style this authentication page exactly as you are seeing in the screen, but I will also show you how to personalize this background image. Also, we will enable uh, email and password register as you are seeing here. And we will be also using a register API as well as using the sign in methods from next out, which are very simple to use. So let's jump right into it. Okay, now we want to know what next out is. And uh, very quickly, next out is an authentication library for Next.js and it is also an open source, so we can check their code on GitHub in this case. With this, we can create a login and a register page to register our users and create a session for each of our users. And now you might be asking also, so why should we choose NextAuth instead of other providers or other authentication providers? So I asked myself the same question and what I decided to was to search for it. So I searched for Next.js uh, authentication and went to the original Next.js page and uh, at the end we can see a few options so we can see that we have authentication providers and in this case we have the option to bring our own database or to provide a service of this authentication. So I had to decide between these three one so the iron session next out or another provider and my my reasoning was the following so if we want to have a low level one i would go for iron session but low level is too much so it's going to to be too much to start off an application then we can go to the other end of the spectrum which is a, a sp another provider such as Firebase that it's a complete authentication service that does everything for us. We almost just have to call one or two uh, methods. And we have the third option which is if we want a full featured authentication system we go for uh, next auth. So I decided to go for the best of the two worlds and learn how an authentication system is done with providers such as Google uh, using JWT as our uh, way to encrypt uh, the information and decided to go for next out. Of course here would be much easier but remember that uh, when it comes when it's easier we might have a free tier but in some point we have to pay and at uh, and sometimes Firebase was is known by being a bit expensive. We also have Superbase, which is a bit more uh, affordable, but also we have to pay. Where here we only have to pay our database, and we can even use a specific server for that. So let's start with uh, our our authentication system okay so now let's start by creating our project and we'll do so by creating a next app with the latest tag and also with the specific name next of YouTube and also with the flag of TypeScript 
So in this case the project is going to create. I will speed this up. So now that the project is created, we shall go to the specific project and run npm rendev. Now we will have our application and we can go by copying this link and going to here. And here we can see the default blog application of Next.js. So now what we want to do is following the get start of the next auth, which is simply by changing three, do three files. In this case, we will have to create this one to specify the providers. We'll also have to put the session provider on top of our app.jsx, in, in our case, tsx, and also uh, create the two one button for sign in and one button for sign out. Okay, so to start by creating the first one, let's copy this file and let's create this specific file on our folder. So let's go to pages, API, create a new folder called auth, and then finally create a file called next auth that ts in our case because we are using TypeScript. So, as uh, first of all, we can see some errors here, and this is because we didn't install our next next of package. So let's do that. So in this case, it's simply by npm install next of as we can see here, and this will install the next very quickly. And now, if when we save, we see that our errors were corrected. Let's run again our application that we can quickly see that it's working by refreshing. So here we will indeed in the future add more providers, but for now these comments are not needed. So let's go to the next one. Now we shall create this import into our application. So let's go to app.js and the only thing that we can see uh, is that here we are importing some styles that we are not going to use so let's remove these styles and also remove this all um, folder we will not need it because we will be using chakra ui to create our uh, ui our styling and then what we are needing in here that we already don't have it's this page props that we can put in here and also the session provider that we will put in here with our component and delete this one. So we also are missing this importer. So let's import it. And it's all done for this one. Let's go to the next one. And we are almost finished because we need to test it and let's create this component in our case we can use our index for now so let's delete everything that we have on our index because we will be using not the blog but this new feature so of course I copied too much I only wanted to copy it this into here and finally we are missing our imports let's copy the imports and delete the ones that we don't use anymore and finally we get this undefined possibility so let's just ask if this was undefined if it isn't it proceeds this is equivalent to writing uh, session and session dot user and session dot user dot email okay so now we can test our application we can see that we are not signed in but yet there is one piece that is missing before we continue 
and that is when we created this kit provider we also have this process env secrets so we need to create them first before we go so to create them we shall create a file in here called dot env dot local and in here we shall we create this github id that i will soon show you how can we get them okay so next we want to re to receive or to find out what these variables are so let's go to github in this case specifically to settings that slash apps and in here we can see that uh, we have our auth apps here we, i already have one but let's create a new one in this case let's call it next auth slash youtube or dash youtube the url we shall use our development url the description is the description is optional and here we also use the same url let's register this application and now we receive our client id which i can show you also but then the secret i should not be showing you but as time the time of this video is going to be up i already deleted this application so there should be no problem for now to show you my secret and then pass it to here okay now we can test our application but first let's reset it by creating run dev again by running run dev again and now it should be uh, updated and let's go to sign in this is the next auth uh, sign in page already made so the default one and then when we sign in we are asked to give our information we are authorized and then we are being redirected and we are already signing with our email this is the first step and with this you can already create an application with the session but of course we want to have a credentials with an email and user password that we will see in the next video